Hey guys, Lancer here. Hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for joining me while I look once again into Magic the Gathering 30th Anniversary Edition. Please like and subscribe if you find these talks interesting and also the rest of the stuff I'm covering. So the reason why I want to talk about this is I want to give my perspective, I guess, as someone living in Australia, the chance of me buying a limited time item that comes in a US website during the US opening times, which is literally the middle of the night in Australia, is strange. So one of the main things is there was a lot of people that live streamed this, but they would have been either in the US or very dedicated to waking up at like three o'clock in the morning to then live stream and see what's happening. Maybe, you know, people might have done that. But from my point of view, one of the interesting things is there is no Australian magic website. I know Europe has one and I know that the US has it. I assume that there's maybe one for Asia, but probably not. Maybe for Brazil, but also once again, probably not. The time difference for Asia is probably the biggest one outside of Australia. In Australia, we never had the opportunity to even get to try to even order one of these. But I've actually heard it from a lot of different people that they were trying to dox the website when it was live in an attempt to try to either crash the website, buying five and then going to the queue and then canceling back out and then waiting in the line and then doing it all over again. And that would have really confused with the coast. If they saw this happening on their website where they were getting a lot of people, but they were not getting any orders, they were getting a lot of um traffic on the site but no one was actually then buying it that would probably scare them far more than if it actually completely sold out another thing someone said is and this is something that actually makes sense because i've run into this issue on the very first day that something is about to launch and there's, there's a massive demand for it you're going to get a lot of people coming in and usually that makes the website run like crap in this time, a lot of people had no issues getting in and out of the website, other than the queue timer, which went from varies of two minutes to three minutes, a bit less than that, and then jumping back all over the place. The queue number being actually relatively small before it went out of stock. Maybe a couple of hundred people just kept jumping in and out of the website, fake buying, and Wizard of the Coast just had enough of it and got out. Now, this is speculation. And like I said, we're going to have to keep an eye on what's going to come out in eBay and all of that over the next, um, you know, couple of year, uh, couple, couple of weeks and months. But I think one of the big things to remember is um, we really want to keep an eye on pricing. We really want to keep an eye on what people are trying to sell these for, sell back to the public for. Because if someone went in and tried to buy them, like look at this. 1,009 watched in the last 24 hours, factory sealed, US 3,000. Obviously, it has to be delivered, pre-order. Um, $1,000, $1,100, buy it again for 3,000. Now, I don't know how many people have jumped in to buy from a seller, but you've got a few popping up now. Um, let me know if you guys are noticing anything as well popping up on different websites. But eBay is showing a few listings of magic 30th anniversary and that is interesting a lot of these are a lot of these would be relatively brave to order them and then put them up for sale now i assume that's for one pack maybe that is four pack but these prices are what i would expect for someone that is trying to flip it now is that going to work we're going to have to find out because with the coast official wording is the anniversary edition sale has concluded and the product is currently unavailable for purchase. Thanks to everyone who has joined us today. So not sold out. I guess that's important to remember. It does say out of stock, but you know that doesn't have to mean what it kind of says or hints that. Out of stock usually means that there is none there, but they never actually said that it's sold out. It's just unavailable for purchase. So speculation aside, we're going to have to find out what these cards and what these packs are going to be worth 
over the next couple of weeks and months. And I think that's what a lot of YouTubers are trying to say because most people are not happy with this product. I know I'm, I wouldn't be happy with the product as someone that wants to keep the idea behind a collectible actually worth something, but also not to be caught by corporate greed on what would be considered a 30th anniversary for their company. It seems like on multiple fronts, it just doesn't make any sense for them to make and then release a product like this. What we had to check is, did they actually make money? And another thing to check is, Hasbro's stock over the next couple of months is going to really show how well this did. Even if you're not tracking online eBay cards for these proxy cards, if you look at the Hasbro stock and it's not doing well, right now it's around about $61 USD. If it's not doing well, then guess what? That means that they did not sell anywhere near as much as they expected. They're probably sitting on a huge bunch of them and they're probably too ashamed to release them. Or they sold them all in a very short amount of time. Their website was extremely responsive. Uh, the traffic was not an issue. A lot of people, like thousands of people came in, put their five orders in, went back out. A bunch of stores kind of came in with like say 10 or 20 credit cards, bought as much as they could, just cycled through. Who knows? The speculation is out there. A lot of people don't really trust what's happened because they were on ground zero. They went in and out of the website without any issues when previously for secret layer drops and things like that, where they had a lot of issues on the very first couple of, you know, hours of the release. This didn't happen for this recording. Um, so I feel like, you know, they captured it live and we're going to have to see what happens in the long run. My idea for all of this is I think there is still a decent amount of speculation out there. Even though interest rates are where they are, and even though the market is very much hating on what Wizard of the Coast is doing, there's a lot of people that came in the last two years who do not understand magic. What they understand is the fancier products have a premium when they run out of stock. What does that mean? So pretty much it means if you know that there's not going to be much available and you buy it all, then there is going to be a resale opportunity at some point. And now don't get me wrong. What I'm saying is a lot of these people came in the last two years and we know what happened to everything in the last two years. Everything went crazy. The market shot to the moon. There was easy money everywhere. People were getting paid not to work, at the, especially in the US. Even in Australia, we added about four to five hundred billion dollars into the economy in 2020 to make sure that everyone stayed afloat while they were all locked down. And that is extra money coming into the economy for people that didn't have to work for it. So for them to spend it and make money, they can do that. People were buying PS5s and Nintendo Switches and then marking them up by 50% and trying to resell them back on eBay and Amazon. Completely legit side from them. The scalpers were a large part of what made 2020 and 2021 go crazy? Cars, everything. Like people were buying new cars, selling them for an extra $20,000 to the guy in line and then going back and ordering another new car. And this, they just got worse and worse because they just made more money. Now, the idea is probably the same. Is the market going to reject the people that bought in who are then going to sell for a higher price because it is a limited title item that ran out of stock and it has a premium because of everyone is talking about it. It's people are going to get hate if they start opening these up on YouTube. They probably don't deserve it. But the main thing is, one thing everyone will know is they paid an arm and a leg on top of what it already was to buy it and then open it. It's very important to remember that most people are just trying to make some money, I guess, on the side. When they start buying these kinds of products, there is no reason why they have to actually enjoy Magic the Gathering. And that's what scares me is the people that bought this don't actually know and care about the game. And the people that didn't buy this care about the game and actually know what's going on. And we're going to find out very soon which side of the market is going to win. Anyway, we'll see what happens. If you like these kinds of videos, guys, please like and subscribe. It just gets me motivated truthfully than anything. 
I'm not making any money from this at all. But uh, it's always fun to talk about. Anyways, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.